Hi everyone and welcome to Teen Moments. This week's video took a completely different direction than I had originally intended. Originally, I was going to be doing a video about a trail to an Eagle Scout. I'm a very proud Eagle Scout mom and I wanted to do a video about my son and what he had done to get there. However, my son is a very humble young man and all of the attention was a little bit embarrassing. So, I'm going to be making a, a video in a different direction, which is going to probably be better because the only thing that I could actually wrap around travel it was that we went to Gonzales, Texas to do the Eagle Scout project. So come along with me and let's find out where this trip to Gonzales actually takes us. Okay, Gonzales is far enough away that I could consider it a trip but not so far away that it's gonna take me more than a day to do it. So it would be basically what I would call a Tink's Tiny Trip. I know everyone watching can't just hop in their car and head to Gonzales for a short little trip, but the good news is you can plan your own tiny trip. In between big vacations and getaways, it's nice to treat yourself to a small little trip. And the good news about a tiny trip is it doesn't take as long to plan as a big vacation. So all you're gonna to need to do to get started is you're gonna to need to figure out how far your car can go on one tank of gas. I'm gonna use our truck for this example. First you need to write down how many gallons your tank holds. Ours is 25. Then you need to write down how many miles per gallon your vehicle gets. Ours gets 18. Multiply those two together and when you do for us you end up with 450. Now to figure out how far you can go halfway to still get back on the same tank of gas you divide by two. When we divide 450 by two, we end up with 225. That lets us know that we can go out 225 miles and still make it back. Okay, now that you have your answer, you're gonna wanna go and pull out your state map. Or if you happen to be living in one of the northeastern states, you may need a map of your state and of the surrounding states. When you find your map, you're gonna wanna find your mileage key. What you need this for is to measure out how long of a piece of string you're gonna need that will tell you the distance that you can go on a half a tank of gas. Okay, now that you found your, um, now that you found your map key and you know how many of the distances of the map key it's gonna take, you need to measure out your string. So you tie one end of your string to a tack and then measure out. For us, it's going to be six of these measuring um, segments. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is where I'm gonna cut it. Before you run off and cut the string, make sure to remember to add a little extra length in there to be able to tie around your pencil. Once you have your length of string tied around your pencil and tied around your tack, find your town and put your tack right down in the center of it. Then expand your string all the way to its fullest length and you're gonna draw a circle, which mine's gonna run off and go over into West Texas a little bit and continue on around until you've made a full circle. What you're gonna end up with when the string is all the way, um, draw, has drawn the circle all the way around is an area that is within one tank of gas from your home that you can have an adventure with. And anytime you're up for an adventure, you can pull your map back out and pick a new place. But for now, what you're gonna wanna do is look throughout your entire circle and find the place that you wanna visit for us. It's gonna be Gonzales, Gonzales. Our trip to Gonzales was taking us to Disciples Oaks Camp and Retreat. However, with a little bit of research, a tiny trip traveler that is a history buff would enjoy digging up some Texas history in Gonzales and finding out exactly what it had to do with the Alamo. If you're an outdoorsy person, you would probably enjoy going to Independence Park along the Guadalupe River. They have soccer fields, baseball fields, and a golf course. However, if you're more of a state park type of person, uh, Gonzales is home to Palmetto State Park. On our trip to Disciples Oaks, we were helping put up this memorial cross, which comes with its own great story if you're into history. Disciples Oaks has an RV site with full hookups for RVers that would like a beautiful Texas respite. They also host group retreats and summer camps. Oops, I got ahead of myself. I told you about the destination before telling you about the trip. The drive to Gonzales is mostly freeway driving. 
and it's between the Texas um, Hill Country and the Texas Gulf Coast. One of my first videos that I made was at a stop that we made on the way to Gonzales, which we also take going to Houston. So here, let's take a look at that one. Hi again, everybody. We are making a stop at Bucky's. This is a must stop every time we are on our way to, um, on our way to the boat or even to Florida. And I will take you inside and give you a look. It is an awesome spot. Um, get food get fresh made sandwiches, even shop for hats and coolers. We'll take a look and guys, here we go. This is outside of Bucky's and I just want to let you know that this is one of my favorite spots and I'm not getting paid for advertising for them. I just wanted to share this fun little stop along the way to stretch your legs and maybe grab something to eat or some gas. We headed on down the road to um, Galveston, but the, on other trips that we've headed into Gonzales, when we're all done, we pile it back in the truck and we're home lickety split. One of the best things about a trip like this is you get to sleep in your own bed and it's easy on your wallet. All it will cost you is a tank of gas and some entertainment expenses. I'd like to hear about places that you've been or you would like to go on a tank of gas. Leave those ideas in the comment section below. And if you want to hear about other places that I've been, or if you would like to suggest places for me to go in Texas and visit, leave those in the comment section below as well. That's going to be it for today. Tomorrow or the next day, I should have another little tiny trip snip bit, tiny trip snip bit in there for you. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and find that subscribe button wherever I place it give it a click and that way you'll be kept up to date on all my Disney trips, my travel tips, and general travel information. Also, if you want to be reminded about when my videos are coming out, find the bell, give that one a click as well. Bye guys, I'll see you out there.